5 Amazing Facts You Don't Know About John Carmack What can one possibly say about John Carmack? The man is heralded as a legend in the gaming industry, having coded engines for Doom and Quake. His most recent engines, id Tech 4 and 5, have been used in a ton of games. He's one of the founding members of id Software, introducing many of the FPS conventions we know of today. If that weren't enough, he's also working with Oculus for its VR hardware, Rift. Carmack has seemingly done it all, but how much do people really know about him? Let's take a look at 5 facts you may not know about John Carmack. At least one of those involves the live-action Doom film. Work and Play At one point in time, Carmack was described as having no empathy for other human beings. The man is well known for his work ethic, which involved coming into work at late hours, getting everything done and then repeating the process to the tune of 80 hours a week. Heck, his idea of a vacation was to take his computer to a hotel, isolate himself from the world and just code for a week or two. So it's somewhat surprising that he settled down and married Catherine Anna Kang in 2000. Kang was renowned for the mobile game she created for id Software including Doom RPG and Orcs and Elves, which were critically acclaimed. It seems like a match made in heaven. And of course, Carmack had to bring his workstation along when they went on their honeymoon. What can we say? There's an impeccable work ethic, and then there's business as usual for men like Carmack. Battle Axes During the early days of id Software, John Romero found himself locked in his office. The solution would have been to simply call the handyman, but John Carmack at the time observed the door and decided to use a battle axe on it instead. Yes, a friggin' battle axe. And not just any battle axe either. This was a $5,000 custom-made battle axe. The door was chopped down much to the joy of the staff at the time, and the door itself remained in pieces for a good while afterwards. Let it not be said that Carmack couldn't be metal as hell when he wanted to be. College Dropout It shouldn't be all that surprising that some of the most brilliant minds dropped out of college when they could. Such is the case of Carmack as well. He pursued college for two semesters before dropping out and becoming a freelance games developer. Of course, it's another matter that Carmack broke into his school at the age of 14 to steal some Apple II computers using thermite and Vaseline. It's one thing to say that higher education would be wasted on him, but honestly, it turned out to be the other way around, as Carmack joined Softdisk, met John Romero and Adrian Carmack, and subsequently worked on Commander Keen for Apogee in 1991. Paging Dr. Carmack Have you seen the Doom live-action film? You know, the one with Dwayne The Rock Johnson and a two-minute first-person shot that was the only good thing about the film. As it turns out, Carmack was referenced in the film in a fairly subtle way. No, he didn't have a head on a pike named after him. Carmack was instead the name for the lead scientist in the film, Todd Carmack, who sent the distress call that brought the Marines to the Mars facility in the first place, and later mutated into some horrible thing to be killed. Feel happy that we looked up the summary for this abomination of a film to provide context for Carmack's appearance. That's three minutes of our lives we're never getting back. Amazingly enough, Carmack himself didn't hate the film and felt it wasn't anywhere near as bad as Super Mario Bros. or Street Fighter. Then again, for being as pleasantly surprised as he was, Carmack did go in with fairly low expectations. Armadillo Aerospace Founder Carmack had always expressed an interest in unorthodox and far-flung ideas like space tourism. To further that dream, and to make use of the millions in his possession, Carmack founded Armadillo Aerospace. The organization started working on manned suborbital spacecraft and won various challenges in 2008 and 2009 for its work. In August 2013, however, the company would be placed in hibernation and subsequently acquired in early 2015 by former employees who began Exos Aerospace. While Carmack did dream big, Armadillo Aerospace is one example of things not quite working according to plan. And that wraps it up. What are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and share it on Twitter and Facebook. And why not consider subscribing? We upload some really cool videos almost every day. Thank you for watching this video and happy gaming.